Imagine waking up to find your crops destroyed overnight, your fences torn apart, and the ground ripped open as if a bulldozer plowed through. But it wasn't machines, it was wild boars. In America, these animals aren't just pests, they're an unstoppable force costing farmers over $2.5 billion in damages every year. And the solution? Not rifles, not traps, but something straight out of a gladiator arena. Massive nets drop from the sky, capable of capturing dozens of boars in a single sweep. But how do these farmers wrangle an animal smart enough to outwit dogs, dodge bullets, and break through steel fences? Let's find out. Wild boars are not native to America. Brought centuries ago, they spread uncontrollably. And today their population is exploding past nine million. They reproduce at terrifying rates. A single sow can produce two litters a year with up to 12 piglets each time. That's why farmers describe them as a biological wildfire. They tear through cornfields, devour soybeans, and even raid cattle feed. Some ranchers wake up to hundreds of acres destroyed overnight. It's not just a farming problem. Highways, suburban lawns, and even military bases have been invaded. The enemy is smart, fast, and ruthless, which is why conventional methods fail. But then came the nets. Picture this. A group of boars rooting around bait in the dark. Overhead, a giant net rigged to poles and weighted with steel. Farmers sit hidden in a control cabin, eyes locked on night vision cameras. When the last pig steps inside the circle, boom, with a single click, 
the net slams down. Dozens of wild boars thrash and squeal, trapped under a heavy mesh they can't outrun or outmuscle. This isn't random chance, it's precision. Farmers wait until the entire sounder, parents and piglets, is inside. That's the only way to make a dent in the population. If even one escapes, it learns, adapts, and spreads the problem. The trap isn't just brutal efficiency, it's psychological warfare against one of the smartest invaders on Earth. Wild boars are cunning. They can recognize human sense, avoid traditional cage traps, and even teach each other survival skills. Farmers call them four-legged masterminds. That's why these net systems are paired with AI-powered cameras, motion detectors, and facial recognition for pigs. Yes, really, confirm the number of animals inside before triggering the trap. The nets are massive, capable of holding 20 to 50 hogs at once. Each catch reduces pressure on farmland, but more importantly, it stops the survivors from teaching others how to escape. This war is fought with patience, technology, and tactics worthy of a battlefield. But here's where it gets controversial. What happens after capture? Some farmers euthanize the hogs on site. Others send them to processing plants where the meat becomes sausage and barbecue, a multi-million dollar business of its own. Animal rights groups argue it's cruel. Farmers argue they have no choice, either fight back or watch America's farmland collapse under the weight of an invasive army. The battle isn't just about crops. It's about survival, economy, and culture. Massive net traps aren't the only strategy. Helicopter hunts, thermal snipers, and even Judas pigs fitted with GPS collars are used to lead farmers to hidden sounders. Yet none of these compare to the sheer efficiency of the nets. Still, experts warn, it's not enough. With populations exploding faster than they can be trapped, the Boer War may never truly end. So the question becomes, how far will farmers go to protect their land? Wild boars are rewriting the rules of farming in America. Each net drop is more than just a capture. 
It's a small victory in a war that may never be won. And maybe that's the real story here. Not about killing pigs, but about how humans battle nature when it fights back harder than we ever expected. Would you call this smart pest control or a cruel spectacle?